Hey, 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 what's going on? It is the Ace Michael Show. Happy to be with you. Happy to have you here with me because that's what we do. Uh, today on the show, we have a gentleman who is the publisher and founder of a magazine. He's written or created his own magazine and he's come to us today to talk to us about that and many more. Welcome Hugo to the show. Hugo, what's up my brother? You don't have me Ace. <laughs> it's my pleasure. So uh, I want to jump right into it because magazine is kind of old school. Like are people still reading magazines? Who are these people? Magazine people. Yeah, it has changed a lot. It can become more digital now. Like, like Patreon, Patreon like that is, it changed a lot, but there's still people who will see the old school news, the old school magazine. So there's still people out there that, that do that, but now the new era is like, it's all digital now. Yeah, well, what's your background that makes you uh, interested in making a magazine? Like, it seems like quite an undertaking. Why, why magazine? I used to own a, I own a clothing brand too. I had like a t-shirt line. Mm -hmm. I own that and I was already in the industry. But in the future, in the past, I used to have a magazine for fun, like on Facebook and like that. I used to have it. But I think I, for, I had it for three years and I stopped doing that and I just tried different businesses around this time. And then when the COVID thing started, I got to change directions. Nice. And so tell me, tell us about this magazine. What is the, uh, what's it about? What, what's the focus of it? Is it politics? Is it fashion? Is it a little bit of this and a little bit of that sprinkled in? What is it? It's all about vehicles and the, the, and models that we want to help promote the models that the upcoming models and and the old models have been in the industry forever. So we try to do that. But this magazine is all about rights like motorcycle cars, you name it, Jeep, the trucks, and enjoying beautiful models around the world. Mm -hmm. so that's why. I decided to make this. Are you going to have a launch for this magazine? Like, you know, they do like a premiere party with the girls and the bottles and the, you know, the pool and the whole, <laughs> he likes that idea. <laughs> I see that smile. So apparently you're planning one. <laughs> <laughs> maybe. <laughs> That was a pretty big smile for her, maybe. Yeah. So, so, okay, so the magazine is called what? Jazz Ride Magazine. Say again? Jazz Ride Magazine. I like that. I like that. That's a good title. I like it. Two thumbs up. Yeah, I, I can you. see that. And uh, when does it come out? September 4th. September 4th, Labor Day weekend. Yeah. Nice, nice. So Labor Day weekend, we have the grand debut of the magazine. And uh, what can we expect uh, from the first issue? Do we have any like major celebrity or anything that we can look forward to when this thing comes out? Like, oh my God, I don't want to miss the grand opening, you know? It's on our website, we have a couple surprises. Okay. Surprises, I, I like, I like surprises. Okay, yeah. good. So the magazine comes out Labor Day weekend. Look for surprises. We're not telling you what yeah. they're going to be, but they will be surprises, yeah. which is good. And when you do a magazine, how far in advance do you do? Like, do you do you publish several issues in advance, or six months in advance, a year in advance? Like, how far out do you prepare? It depends. For me, I had. Two months to prepare this. You put this whole magazine together in two months? Yes. Wow. That's impressive. Yeah. Wow. That is very impressive. 
So you put the magazine together from concept to completion in two months, or yeah. you just really? It's just a vision. It's just waiting for some some com, um, information from other people. I right, it's almost there. Wow. I, I'm, I, you see, I'm speechless. That's a, that's a saying a lot for me because I can usually speak on anything, and that's yeah. that's wow. <laughs> wow. Anybody ever tell you you can't do something, you tell them, listen, man, my man Hugo put a magazine together in less than two months. So yeah. I can do anything, okay? It can be done. Yeah. <laughs> wow. That's a very, very impressive. Hugo, so, all right, so you're on social media. How do we reach you on social media if we want to uh, pleasantly stalk you now and follow you and all your exploits? So it's just right. Magazine MM XX on Instagram and on Facebook as Just Right Magazine, and that's all we have social media. That's it, yeah. And that is what's up. Uh, okay, so we're gonna follow, we're gonna be excited about the premiere. We're looking forward to that. We all want some of that action. Yeah. And uh, is there anything else you'd like to say? I'm really curious. If this is something that anyone could do, do you feel like anyone could do this? Or is this something that you were able to do because of your special skill set? It depends. You can you can start any business, yes. You got to have the motivation to do the work. You can put in the work. And I think you put the work, you will achieve great things. Hey, and there it is. I can't close the show on a stronger note than that. My man just said it. If you put the work in, you will achieve great things. And yeah. that's true talk. That's real. Hey, man, it's the Ace Michael Show. I'm Ace Michaels. Thank you so much for joining us. If you ever want to be on the show, we have links that you can uh, submit to. And all you have to do is basically say, hey, I want to be on the show. It's a great way to speak your mind, voice your opinions, suggestions, convictions, beliefs. If you want to get it off your chest, come be a guest. And you know what I say at the end of every show, and I still mean it to this day. Live the life you love. Love the life you live. Thank you.